The incomplete table shows information about times in minutes that cyclists took to complete a race. So here we've got a table, T in time minutes, we've got between 20, 25, 25 and 40, 40, 50, 50 and 60, and 60 and 80. And we've got the times here, one missing, and we've got a histogram to represent two of the um, classes. So it says, use the histogram to calculate the number of cyclists who took between 40 and 50 minutes to complete the race. So basically, we've got to find how many in this particular uh, category here. Complete the histogram for the remaining results and estimate the number of cyclists who finished the race between 28 and 42 minutes. Now, the problem here is that we actually have no vertical scale on this histogram. So we actually have to find it using the information given. So we know that for a histogram, the frequency density is frequency divided by class width. Here we have a table. We know that this here is represented by this one here, which is 24. So from the table for the 24 took between 50 and 60. So that's a class width of 10. So the frequency density will be 24 from there, divided by the class width, which is 10. And that gives 2.4. So that height there is rep represented by 2.4. Therefore, halfway will be 1.2. And therefore, we can realize that this is 0 0.4. Next one is 0 0.8 and so on. So 1.62, 2.8, and therefore the, the top one here will be 3.2. So this is represented by height here, it has a frequency density in this column here of 3.2. So for the 40 to 50, which is what we have to find the missing one here, we know that the frequency, rearranging this, is going to be the frequency density times the class width, We've just worked out the frequency density is 3.2, and we know the class width there is 10. So that gives a value of 32 cyclists. So this column here represents 32 cyclists. We can now work out the rest of the column. So between 20 and 25, the frequency density will be 6, divided by the class width, which is 5. So 6 divided by 5 gives me 1.2. So we need to carefully find 20, and then we only want to go to 5. So it's halfway between 20 and 30, and we need the height of the bar to go to 1.2. So that will be that bar there. And then for 25 to 40, the class width is 15. The frequency is 30. So it's going to be 30 divided by 15, which is 2. Therefore, from between 25 and 40, the height will go up to 2, which will be up to here. You don't actually have to colour it in in the exam. And then for the last one, between 60 and 80, that's a class width of 20. So the frequency density will be 28 divided by 20, which gives me 1.4. So 1.4 is going to be halfway between 1.2 and 1.6. You need to be quite accurate when you do this. So there is the completed histogram. Right, we're now going to use this. Let's read it up a little bit. And the table to answer part C. So part C, we require the number of cyclists between 28 and 42 minutes. Well, we need to find 28 minutes on here. So each of these one little squares represents two. So 28 will be here. So we'll just draw a line there. And then 42 will be one little square into here. So it does go across two different bars. So we have to deal with it separately. So 40 minus 28 it's going to be 12 out of the total class width for that particular column, which is 15. And then we know that this uh, column here represents 30 students, 30 cyclists, sorry. And then we need to add to that two tenths because that's two, this class width is 10, so it's two out of 10 times 32. 
And then if we work that out on our calculator, we're going to get 30.4, but we can't really have that. So it's going to be approximately equal to 30 cyclists. So this has been a video to show you how to find the vertical scale of a histogram and then use the histogram, uh, then complete the histogram using the table and then also use the histogram to get some information from it. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.